Hey guys, welcome to today's MCAT question of the day. As always, we'll be working our way through one of the mini MCAT practice problems found at MCATselfprep.com, the home of the free MCAT prep course. I'm Andrew George, a 99th percentile MCAT tutor, and I'll be walking you through today's practice problem as if you were one of my private tutoring students. Be sure to hit pause and try this practice problem for yourself before watching my explanation. Okay, in this practice problem, we are told that the angle of the incline is 30 degrees and that the weight is equal to 10 newtons. Okay, and let's break down our weight into its x and y components. That's always a good first step when you're dealing with a inclined plane problem like this one. And so um, this normal force that we have here, that's going to be equivalent to the y component of my weight. Okay. And um, for this problem, we don't really need to worry about it because we're only interested in the net force. And if you can look at this diagram, you should be able to tell that the normal force and the uh, y component of the weight are going to cancel out, right? So the only component we need to worry about is the x component of my weight, okay? And so I need to find a way to solve for that. And I think it's important to know that in a free body diagram like this, where we're on an inclined plane, this angle here is going to be equal to this 30 degree angle of the plane, okay? So just remember that those angles are equal and that'll help a lot in trying to solve these types of problems, okay? Now, let's remember our, our SOHCAHTOA rules, which would tell us that sine of angle equals opposite divided by hypotenuse. In this case, my hypotenuse is 10, right? And my angle is 30. So let's just plug in those units. So sine 30 degrees equals opposite divided by hypotenuse, which is 10 newtons. Perfect. And in my math mastery course, I teach you key tricks to remember difficult to recall information, such as the sine of 30, sine of 45, sine of 60, cosine, tangent, all of those, all of those numbers that you should have on the top of your head. I teach you some quick ways to remember them in case you forget them on the MCAT. So I definitely recommend checking it out because it'll make sure you never forget these numbers again. And so for sine of 30 degrees, um, the answer is going to be 1 half. So sine of 30 degrees is 1 half. And then we're going to multiply that by 10. So multiplied by 10 equals opposite. So therefore, 5 newtons equals opposite. There's my answer. And by opposite, right, we're talking about this x component right here. Therefore, the net force is going to be 5 newtons. And taking a second look at our answer choices, we notice that answer choice B is the correct answer. If you liked this MCAT question of the day, be sure to give it a like. And for more MCAT questions of the day, be sure to subscribe to this YouTube channel and enroll in our free MCAT prep course found at MCATselfprep.com. And if you are really looking to maximize your MCAT score, feel free to visit my tutoring profile page and request a free 10-minute phone consultation. I would love to chat with you about your situation and how you can maximize your MCAT score. I look forward to hearing from you soon, and we'll see you next time.